we look at the next model, which is religious fluidity and um, religious switching. Now, religious fluidity and religious switching sort of refer to the flexibility and adaptability of individuals' uh, religious uh, beliefs, practices, and identity over time. Now, this phenomena um, kind of involve the movement between different religious traditions, spiritual practices, and worldviews as a result of the blending of elements from multiple religious uh, or spiritual sources. But um, several factors can contribute to this. Um, one, it's uh, religious pluralism, which I talked about earlier, because exposure to a diverse range of religious beliefs and, and practices can often inc encourage people to kind of explore different uh, spiritual paths or even to adopt a more fluid, eclectic approach um, to spirituality. And so this can often lead to a blending of um, elements from various religious traditions or even the adaptation, adoption of uh, a spiritual identity that kind of transcends any single religious affiliation. The other also is personal growth and development. Now, as individuals evolve and mature, uh, their spiritual needs and interests may change. Uh, we, this would often prompt them to kind of seek new religious experiences or even revise uh, their beliefs to better align with their current values, priorities, and even their life circumstances. On the other hand also, uh, the other factor that might contribute to religious switching uh, could also be uh, life transitions. Now, major life events such as moving to a new location, experiencing a significant loss, or even forming new relationships can often prompt people to kind of reevaluate their spiritual beliefs and practices. And so these transitions uh, may kind of create opportunities uh, for religious switching or even the development of more fluid religious identity. On the other hand, you also have the dissatisfaction with current religious tradition. Now, uh, individuals may become dissatisfied with, uh, dissatisfied with their current religious tradition due to various factors, such as things like uh, perceived jealousy, uh, perceived hypocrisy, uh, things like restrictive doctrines, or even a lack of spiritual human. And as this happened, this dissatisfaction can lead to uh, spiritual seeking, uh, religious switching, or even the adoption of a more flexible, uh, individualized approach to spirituality. On the other hand, also, it's important to point out the role of interfect relationships here. Now, close relationships with individuals from different religious backgrounds uh, can often expose one to alternative really uh, spiritual perspectives or even practices. And this could potentially prompt them to even consider, reconsider their own beliefs and adopt elements from, um, let's say, their partner's uh, religious tradition. And also social and cultural influences. Now, uh, the broader social and cultural context can also shape people's um, uh, spiritual fluidity and even their religious switching. Now, uh, societal attitudes towards religious um, diversity, even tolerance and even individuality, individualism can also influence the degree to which people uh, feel free to kind of explore and even question and modify their religious beliefs. And so, as I bring this in summary or in conclusion, rather, split spiritual fluidity, fluidity or, uh, and religious switching can they involve the dynamic, uh, they involve the dynamic evolving nature of an individual's religious and spiritual life. And so these processes can uh, be influenced by personal, relational, social, cultural factors, um, which of course highlights the complex interplay uh, between uh, individual experiences on one hand and the broader religious landscape. I hope uh, that's been helpful and uh, look forward to uh, covering the last uh, model on review of psychology. Five, four.